An update now on a very public spat between the city of Jacksonville Beach and the Volunteer Life Saving Corps. The city is responding to a lawsuit from the volunteer group with a counterclaim. For perspective, the Volunteer Life Saving Corps has been around Jacksonville Beach for 110 years. And for decades, it provided relief to paid guards by volunteering to watch the beaches on Sundays and holidays. But News for Jacks reporter Vic Michelucci explains that relationship ended last month and the two sides remain at odds. As temperatures have heated up at the beach, so have tensions between city leaders and volunteer lifeguards. Last month, we told you the city of Jacksonville Beach cut ties with the Volunteer Life Saving Corps after a Department of Labor investigation found guards couldn't be paid some days and volunteer the others. The two sides, the volunteer guards and city leaders, had been working out the details on their own, negotiating outside of court until last month when tensions came to a head. And then we started to see some legal filings here at the Duval County Courthouse. In April, as they tried to come to an agreement, the city manager claims some volunteers harassed paid guards at the lifeguard station. He then sent this letter ending the relationship and banning the volunteers from the building. Days later, the guards sued the city, calling this a breach of contract. That's Volunteer Life Saving Corps station. We're the Volunteer Life Saving Corps, and he has no right to lock us out. Other, I mean, we, we don't have the right to lock him out. Now city leaders are responding. This countersuit filed Tuesday claims the volunteers breached their own contract with labor violations. We see back and forth, back and forth. Is this typical for a case like this? It's very typical in a case like this. In any civil litigation case where parties are fighting over a contract, you see back and forth blaming each other as to who violated the contract. Gene Nichols is an attorney not affiliated with the case. He hopes this is resolved without costing taxpayers too much more. It's all going to come down to whether or not a circuit court judge believes that that contract was lawfully binding or not. And I do want to point out, even without the volunteer guards on Sundays and holidays, you're still going to see lifeguards out there on the beach. They're just paid city workers. City leaders say that beachgoers don't need to worry. They've got everything under control. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station.